Maserati is on its way to becoming an all-electric automaker by the end of this decade as part of Stellantis' Dare Forward 2030 plan. The battery-powered Maseratis will carry the Falgor nameplate, which will arrive one by one starting this year. The first fleet of Maserati EVs will be completed in 2025 by the Levant Falgor, joining the Grey Kale, Gran Turismo, Gran Cabrio, and MC20. The Ghibli will be discontinued by 2024 together with the Mark's V8 mil. A recent report by Autocar implies that the flagship SUV will become all-electric for its next-generation model, swapping its combustion engine for an electric powertrain. To support this, Autocar quoted Maserati CEO Davide Grasso who hinted at the importance of an electric Levant and how it will benefit from joint development within Stellantis' 14 brands. It's unclear from the report whether the Levant will become exclusively electric for its next-generation model. Of note, the next Levant is said to be using a modified version of Alfa Romeo's Giorgio platform, which is also used by the Grey Kale and Gran Turismo. Both the Crossover and Coupe have IC and EV versions, the latter models are expected to arrive this year. With IC or without, Autocar's report noted that the Levant Falgor will be using a less powerful version of the Gran Turismo's tri-motor setup. Specifically, it's pegged to produce 745 horsepower. Just a reminder, the Gran Turismo Falgor, which has already been revealed in full design detail last year, will have this tri-motor setup with a whopping output of 1,200 horsepower. This allows the Grand Tourer to sprint to 62 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds from a complete standstill. As always, take this report with a tad grain of salt, but we won't be surprised if it holds true considering the automaker's aggressive move to electrification. What we're sure of at this point is that Maserati won't have gasoline-powered vehicles by 2030.